All right, let's talk about the most valuable part of any online business. This is your customer list. So we are now gonna go over uh, how customers are managed inside of Shopify um, and how you use the interfaces and all that sort of stuff. So let's go over to All right, where we're gonna be starting off is if we are in the left-hand side here, um, we have options for customers. If we open up customers, we're gonna see this new page show up. Now, one thing that you're gonna notice immediately is this page has this big block across the top of the screen. Now, if you can't see the block, I'm just gonna show you why you might not see it. It may be compressed or maybe collapsed, um, which is in the right-hand side there. And if that's the case, then you might just see um, a small little bar across this top. But we're gonna open this up and we're gonna go over what this does here in a moment. But before I do that, let's get ourselves familiar with what we're looking at. So first of all, we have customer segment. That's actually what this block is at the top. This is the customer segmenting tool. Uh, and it uses information that it covers or that it gathers from customers and applies uh, Shopify's AI against it in order to segment your uh, customers, basically put them into different buckets. The reason you do that is because you might want to be sending special notifications to say your VIP customers, or maybe you have customers that are uh, at risk of abandoning um, your store and never coming back. These are these are customers that you may want to win back and you want to do marketing stuff. We're going to go over all of the techniques and what you can do and set all that stuff up in section two. Uh, but for right now, we're going to have a look at what we have on the screen. So we have our seg our segments um, and we can break out. These are these are pre-built segments inside of Shopify. Now this list will expand and change as your store gets older. So as Shopify gathers more information and is able to look at a wider customer base, you're gonna get more options in here. You're even gonna get options of like which customers are um, predicted to spend next, which customers are likely to fall off and needing win back and so on and so forth. So that will that will help in the, the segmentation tool. Um, if we go over to the right, uh, we have our export. This is our general export. Again, it's nice and similar as everything else. This is export for customers. So this is to export your customer list. We've got import. Again, this is just so that you can import all your customers. So say you have your customers saved in WordPress or maybe you're storing all your customers inside of an email marketing software like MailChimp and you wanna bring it all into side of Shopify so that you have a central place to manage all of your customers, you can do that through here. Um, using a segment, this is a quick action tool which allows you to take a segment that you have created um, and then uh, move it into either uh, Shopify email, which is another service that they provide. It's similar to MailChimp um, or Klaviyo. Um, or you can actually go and generate out a segment and give those se those that segment a tool a specific discount. So we can go through and give a discount for those particular people. All right. Um, next, if we come down, um, you have your search customers. So this is one of the things that I notice often with people uh, when they go to this page for the first time, they start trying to search with inside of this segmenting tool. And it's it's a lot, it's a lot to take, take, take on. My recommendation is before you start using the segmenting tool, let's collapse it and let's just use the regular search um, to find our customers because generally speaking, that's what you're looking for. You're, you're going into customer to look for a specific customer. So let's say we're gonna look for Edward here. Um, and it's gonna come up and we have Edward Pruitt. Um, we can go in to that specific customer and now we're on the customer detail page. Now this should look similar. It should look very similar to those other detail pages, same as orders, products, collections, that sort of thing, same type layout. We're gonna have our name at the top. Um, we're gonna have our J and K, which would allow us to um, to scroll through them back and forth. Uh, but because in our search, we only had one result, they are not activated. There's nowhere to go forward and back. Um, we've got a sound, send account invite. Now sending account invite, this is if someone has signed up for your store, say they've purchased something, but you had accounts uh, disabled and you want to be able to send them an invite so they can log into their store and, or log into your store and they can see their order history. Maybe you have special things uh, for people who have accounts that are tagged in a certain way. Um, this is where you would go and do that. You go and hit that send account invite and then they will get a password in their uh, email. Now, consequently, they could also go and just do a reset password and it would act basically the same. If they do a reset password, it's gonna send them an account invite and then they'll be able to log in and do that sort of stuff. Uh, we've got our last orders placed. So this is where you're gonna get the detail of the last order that they placed right up front. We've got our similar timeline down below. 
how the customer was created, any comments that have happened with that particular customer. On the right-hand side, we have our notes. This is pretty standard notes for a specific customer. We have our customer information, so we can go and edit that customer information. I'll show you that when we go and create a new customer. Uh, we have our default address. We have their tax settings, so if they have special tax exemptions, we can put those in there. We have their marketing status, so if they have uh, approved uh, for you to send them marketing messages, so emails or SMS messages that get stored under marketing status. Uh, and then tags, and then your tags is where you can um, organize your customers. So you can go in and say, okay, I want all these customers tagged with uh, VIP, or I want all these customers tagged with B2B, um, and we're gonna organize them differently. That's what the tags are there for, okay? Um, and then below that, this is your GPRD, um, stuff so this allows you to if you have uh, one customer that is you know have has multiple accounts you can go in and merge the customer together you can com uh, combine all of their fields and then you can choose which one um, is going to be the master customer on that one or the the primary customer not master um, then you can go and request customer data so this will pull all of the customer data that Shopify has requested that has on that customer and then you'll be able to send that to them and then if you want to completely erase uh, the personal data, you can go in here and erase it as well. So you have um, complete uh, GD GDPR compliance um, when it comes to Shopify. So you don't have to worry about any of that. Shopify provides that underneath customer data. All right, let's go back here to our customer portal uh, and we're gonna go in and add a customer. So again, very similar to what we had on a product page. If it's got a black bar across the top, it hasn't been saved yet. So any changes that you make, you're gonna need to hit the save. We can go and put in our first to last names. We've got our emails, we've got our phone numbers, um, and then we can decide whether the customer has agreed to receive marketing message or agreed to receive SMS messages. On the right, we have our uh, country of where they're located. Um, this is for their phone number specifically. Okay, uh, address, you've got your countries and regions. You, these are all, um, they will all change depending on what you select. So I'm in Canada, so we, um, we have provinces in Canada, but if I was to change this to United States, which will be right at the top of the list, by the way, or actually it's not, it's down here. Thanks Shopify for being consistent. You'll see that this is switched over to zip code and state. So they are smart in that way. Um, tax exemption, whether you can collect tax for them or not, your notes, and again, your tags. Um, pretty simple stuff when it comes to creating a new customer. Now we're gonna leave that page and we're gonna come back over to our, um, our customer listing. So on our customer listing, let's have a look at how we want to segment our customers. So if we wanted to um, give me all customers, that have uh, customer tags equals uh, this exact tag, I can select which one I want so I can hit VIP and I can apply that filter. If I do that, we're gonna have it come down below. And then I can even save this segment. So just like we did before where we wanted to have, um, these are our VIP customers, you'll see what happens is once you've done that, you now have this segment that drops on into the list. So it's now easy for you to go and select which customers that you want to use, okay? Um, we're going to go over more about how to use the segmenting tool and how to do some real world examples and how to push those uh, contacts that you have to other softwares in the next lesson. Sorry, not like next lesson, in the next section. All right, that's everything for the customer overview. Uh, next, we're moving on to companies.